Hi guys, we're going to go over our chapter 7 math test together, so you should have your book in front of you. Uh, if you got an answer wrong, that's okay, you can correct it with your pencil or you can use a marker in a different color. Um, our goal is to make sure we know how to count, write, and represent the numbers 11 through 19. So problem number one, the directions were count how many there are and write the answer, so let's do it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If I forget what an 11 looks like, I can use my number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is two ones for one whole 10 frame and one more. The directions in number two are the same. I'm counting the counters and writing the number. I notice the top 10 frame is full, so I'm just going to quickly say 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, I hear a clue in it. I hear four and I see four extra ones. 14 is a one and a four. Number three said, choose all the ways that show 12. Well, I know this is the number 12. Hmm, I'm not sure how many of this is I'll have to count. I see 10, so I can count on 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12, 13, 10 plus 2, hmm, I can either look at my number line, start at 10, and add two more, 1, 2, yep, that shows 12, or I could draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, two more, and count them all together. I know I can quickly say 10, 11, 12, so three of these answers are correct. The number 12, 12 counters, and an addition sentence of 10 plus 2. Number 4 says, is this a way to write the number of flowers in each set? Choose yes or no. First, we need to figure out how many flowers there are, so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, this is the number 13. Yes, that matches the flowers. This is the number 14. No, that does not match the number of flowers. The math sentence, 10 plus 3. Hmm. Let's see, I have one group of 10, and I have one, two, three more. So yes, 10 plus 3 is 13. Number 5. It says, count how many, write the number, and complete the addition sentence. This one has some clues in it for us. There's numbers to trace. I can quickly count the first 10 frame as 10. Straight line down, around for the win. That's the way I make a 10. My second group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make a loop and then a hoop. Just that quick, we've made a six. My plus sign tells me to put together. I'm ready to solve the problem. 10 plus six more. Let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, number six was the same, but we're getting a little trick here. There were no numbers to trace. The 10 frame is full, so I quickly know that's a 10. I have one, two, three, four, five extra ones. Down, around, give it a hat. My plus sign tells me to put together. I'm ready for my answer. I can either count everything by ones, or I know quickly this is 10. I can count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is 10 ones and five more ones. Number seven says draw lines to match the 10 frames to the numbers they show. So first I need to count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to start at my 17 counters and I'm going to match to the number 17. Remember if I forget what 17 looks like, I can use my number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, there I was. Okay, um, my second group, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's the number 16. My last problem said to draw eight flowers that are gray and seven flowers that are white. Then I'm gonna find out how many there are in all by circling 10 and counting on. So let's start with eight gray flowers. Since my pen is red, Let's see if I know how to change it. I'm going to do 
eight red flowers instead of eight gray flowers. Help me count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick a different color for my white flowers. I need to draw seven white flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I need to find how many there are in all, and it told me to find out by making one group of 10 and counting on. So let's count 10. I'm gonna start my box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Here's 10, count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's two math sentences involved in this problem. If I do the red flowers plus the green flowers, I would have eight plus seven equals 15. Or if I make a group of 10 and count on, I have 10 plus five equals 15. All right, number nine says, how many more ones are needed to show the number of peaches? So first we need to count how many peaches there are. I quickly noticed that two lines of five are 10. That looks like a 10 frame, okay? How many extra ones do I have down here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The picture of peaches is 10 ones and nine more ones, and I know that total, that's 19. Number 10 says, look at the 10 frames and complete the addition sentence. I quickly know this first frame. It's full. That means it's 10. This plus sign tells me I'm putting together. My second 10 frame has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Make an S. Don't you wait. Go back up and close the gate. That's the way I make an 8. So I know 10 plus 8 more. If I forget the answer, I can start at 10 and count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10 plus 8 more is 18. Number 11 says 10 people are sitting at one table. There are two extra people. How many people are there in all? Draw the table and the people. Complete the addition sentence. The first thing I need to do is draw my 10 people. And remember in math, I'm not really going to draw people. I'm going to just draw little dots or circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have to label that ten. It's already right here for me. It said two extra people came. One, two. I do need to label the extra people. Around the track and back. Choo, choo, choo. That's the way I make a two. The problem asks me to complete the addition sentence, so if I start with 10 and I add two more, how many do I have all together? Well, let's see, I know this is 10, so I'm going to count on 10, 11, 12. So I can say 10 plus 2 equals 12. Then I'm on problem number 12. This says, what do the 10 frames show? First I need to count. Oh, I see the first one's full, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. The 10 frames show 19. Then it tells me to complete the addition sentence. This addition sentence has the answer at the beginning. So I need to find out what the two groups are of. My first 10 frame is right here, 10. My second 10 frame, let's count how many there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 19 equals 10 plus 9. Number 13 says, draw a set of 11 objects. Circle 10 of the objects. How many more objects are there? Complete the addition sentence to match. Okay, so first I need to draw 11 objects. I'm going to draw circles because it's math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Next it says, circle 10 of the objects. So I'm going to start my circle. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I circle ten, how many more did I have? I have one more. So remember, first I drew eleven. Eleven is my answer. And the two groups I have to make eleven are ten and one more. 
So if I read this math sentence, it says 11 equals 10 plus 1. My very last problem, number 14, says Carrie picked 14 apples. Draw the apples. Circle a group of 10 apples. Count the remaining apples. Complete the addition sentence. This sounds like lots of steps, but we've done the exact same thing right above. The first thing I heard is Carrie picked 14 apples. Draw the apples. I'm not really going to draw apples. I'm going to draw circles. Help me count to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And remember this whole math chapter, we're trying to count teen numbers as 10 plus some more ones. So the next direction said circle a group of 10. I'm going to start my circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'm doing one final addition sentence on this test. The first group is 10. My second group is separated from my first group with this plus sign. That means add together. My second group is 1, 2, 3, 4. Down, across, down once more. That's the way I make a 4. My answer, I know already, is 14 because the first thing the problem told me is Carrie picked 14 apples and that's how many I drew. If I forget the answer, I can say 10 and count on 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job finishing chapter 7 in math.